three spice masters from across the country are here to challenge Chef Alex Cornicelli in a spicy food battle. Spices are my life. Growing up in the Southwest, we use chilies all the time. I think I spent so much time learning spice that this competition is tailor-made for me. I will show Chef Alex how I used spices in my own way. Chef Alex is the best, but I am the king of spice. You know when you go to the beach and you don't know if the tide's out or in? Is there a big sandbar? If I go in the water, is there going to be a big drop? I'm feeling that unpredictability today. In this arena, it's built for me to succeed or fail, and that's why it's so intense. She's one of America's most accomplished chefs. Please welcome Iron Chef Alex Gornicelli. I've never stood in front of an Iron Chef before. The nerves are there. So, Alex, I bet you're wondering what you're going to be cooking tonight. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be helpful there. You, you got any hints? Oh, uh, so in front of you, you have three spice masters. Okay, then. Tonight, it's all about the spicy food. Chef Samantha's from Scottsdale, Arizona. Hello. Chef Samantha has two James Beard nominations. Wow, that's more than me. Including Best Chef of the Southwest. From Washington, D.C., we have Chef Martel Stone. Also known as the Duke of Spice, Food & Wine magazine says he makes one of the best chicken curries in all of D.C. And lastly, Chef Alex, we have Chef Kasem from Northern California. He is the owner of seven acclaimed Thai restaurants. Seven? Seven. Wow. He's also earned the San Francisco Weekly Award for the best Thai restaurants in 2019 and 2020. First up, the survival round. You all will be preparing an original spicy dish. Backstage, I have two heavyweight judges waiting to try your dishes. But the key is, they're gonna be judging completely blind. The chefs that cook the top three dishes in the first round will survive. And unfortunately, the fourth chef will not. Even if that's you, Alex. Noted. So I'm not picking what the challenge is. You guys are. You guys ready to see your options? Yeah. Yes. yes. So since obviously this is a spicy competition, You guys are going to be picking the type of chilies you're going to be using. How about if we don't pick any? <laughs> Each basket represents a different level of spice on the Scoville range. So these chili peppers range from 1,000 to 10,000 Scoville, like these jalapenos right here. We have another basket with chilies between the 10,000 and 25,000 range. Chilies like Serrano's, Aleppo peppers as well. Or we have chilies in the 50,000 to 100,000 range. These are your classic Thai chilies right here. I do love Thai spice. I want to know how much we're going to make this hurt. I think we should go with this one. It's the most mild. Do you guys think we're giving it away to Chef Alex? I think first time, we're just going to go super light and just see where she at. Just feel it out a little bit. That might come to an advantage for Chef Alex. You never know. I know how to increase or decrease them. So either way, I'm really familiar with it. Yeah, let's go with number one, one to 10,000. Let's go for the level. It's mild, but it has a little sweetness to it. All right, here it is. All right, guys, we'll see what protein you're using. We have ground turkey, chicken breast, and pork tenderloin. I'm thinking definitely the pork. Pork is great. I love the umami taste, the fatty that brings the spices together. I think we just go with pork tenderloin. Pork it is. I like pork. My least favorite protein. Are you messing with them, or it really is your least favorite? I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the peppers. We got the proteins out the way. You're gonna need to cook with either rice or a plain roll. We eat rice and beans all the time, all the time. in my household, so right. I feel comfortable with it. Although I love a hoagie, uh, I, think I'll, I think I'll go with rice. So the rice has the sweetness and then the creaminess that will turn down and pair out with the spices. You can choose rice. So guys, last but not least, maybe your most important decision. How long do you want to cook? You guys get to pick between one and 60 minutes. Think about this. How much time do you want to give yourself? But then also, how much time do you want to give Chef Alex? Two hours. <laughs> 45? 45. Um, 45 minutes 40. is a long yeah. time. Yeah. 35. You're giving Chef Alex yeah, 45 minutes. 35? 30. 30? 30? 35? 35. 35. 35 minutes on the clock. Whoever wins first place in this round gets to exclusively pick the challenge for the next round. Your time starts now. Get cooking. 
So obviously the thing that we think about is these three chefs, right? They're coming in, they want to make a name for themselves, but obviously the pressure is on Chef Alex as well. This is her name in front of the entire arena right here. The key to victory is don't overcook the pork tenderloin, don't make mushy rice, and get as much heat as you can into the dish without overdoing it. That's actually the challenge. I butterfly two tenderloins, pound them out, I put asplet pepper right on the meat, egg, breadcrumb, and I'm just gonna make a cutlet. I'm gonna just slice that up and just put it over a basmati rice, super floral pilaf, with some shallots and some herbs and vinegar and lime zest, and just have it almost be like a rice bowl with crispy fried pork. Yeah. Something tells me summarize. that you have either something up your sleeve or you might be a little bit nervous. Talk to me. Both. Okay, all right, Definitely that's Definitely both, that's you know fair. what I mean? Well, you seem relaxed. It must be nice to, you know, just it's, be chilling. Uh, it's cooler on this side, I'll be honest. I know I want to put my rice in the oven and bake it like a pilaf. I don't know if perfect rice is going to guarantee me a victory, but I know imperfect rice can send me packing. Alex is a gifted chef that I've always admired, but this is a spice bottle. She is Italian, I'm Mexican. I think I got this one. I'm making puerco al pastor. I have all my chilies lined up for a couple different marinades and salsas, but first I need to get my rice going for cilantro lime rice. Also, I want to make salsa matcha. I'm making my marinade. I have a little bit of cumin seed. I have a little bit of achote. I'm going to do a little bit of vinegar. Distilled white. It's traditional. And then I have some oranges that I'm going to add to it. Chef Samantha, she's used to these peppers. I mean, her wheelhouse is anchos and chipotles. But what you really need to get the most out of those peppers is time. You want it to bloom, you want it to blossom into its own flavors. I don't necessarily know if 25 minutes is all the time that she needs. I want them cooked all the way through without losing its natural fat and juiciness. So I'm actually going to throw it in there with the marinade. I want to get a lot of flavor in the pork, so I'm just going to sear with a little bit of suya. Suya is a peanut powder-based spice uh, seen a lot in West Africa. I plan on grilling tenderloin with coconut and cilantro rice. Being a DC chef, I see cultures from all over the world. It has inspired me to be the chef that I am today. So I decided to go with a groundnut stew. Groundnut stew is made with garlic, ginger, onions, a little bit of tomato product, some habaneros, and reduced down with some peanut butter and chicken stuff. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Fresno and jalapeno to my stew, add a little more flavor to it. So another thing when it comes to making this dish and this competition specifically is the rice, right? You don't want to overcook the rice. You don't want to undercook the rice either. Another important note, guys, you want to rinse that rice. You want to make sure that you eliminate all that excess starch. Now we can make in the risotto. We're making rice straight to the point. So excited because this is my first competition and with my dream chef, Chef Alex, come on. Chef Kasem, I see umami, I see yes. spice, I see a little bit of vinegar and acidity. Mm -hmm. But I don't see that heat, man. I am making the chili curry paste that's going to turn my pork into uh, the Thai red curry stew. Also, I'm going to make turmeric rice. My inspiration for this dish is from my childhood memory. The way that my grandparents teaching me how to make things from scratch, especially the curry paste. I grabbed the dry chili, two red jalapenos, garlics, and then all the spices like cumin seed, fennel seed, toast it until it's released out the oil, and then I blend it together to make a curry paste. Wow, that's moment, the smoke that come out to my face. I love it, and the touch of coconut milk. For my rice, I go with Thai long grain rice. Easy to cook, but in my specialty, I blend it with turmeric curry powder, and I put a little bit of clove, a touch of bay leaf, and a cumin seed. Not everybody can cook chili, but I'm the expert. So that's why I'm going to meet Chef Alex.